What's going on YouTube fam? Mikey here shooting another high adventure video with my bro Ace from Ace Videos. You may have heard of him. And me ancient or the old man is with us today. Guys, it's short and simple. We are trying to get some big smallmouth on top waters early morning. The water is like glass out here, like a mirror. And then we're going to cook one up for breakfast. So let's get to it. So yesterday it finally got really warm. Today it feels like it's gonna be hot. It's gonna be like suns out, buns out kind of warm. And so these bass are starting to move to that surface, especially in the morning, soaking up those rays before it gets too hot and then they move down deeper. So that's what we're trying to take advantage of right now. There he is. Oh, got him. Oh, it's a little one. Oh, it's a really little one. <laughs> like, we can't fry him up. I think he was probably, guys, trying to mate with it more than anything. Yeah, he's about 10 inches too short. <laughs> out there. Maybe that was the male and the female still out there, guys. Whoa! Oh, that was a big one. There was the female. Nice and easy action. There she was. Saw that big old bat come out of the water. Yes! Nice and easy action. Just settle. Call her up. Oh, there we go. Yeah. That was fun. Nice, bro. Look at that piggy right there. Yeah! Oh, just came out. Nice. Look at that. Actually, look how thin that is. That might be the male. Wow. Look at that. Check that out, guys. Woo! That's what we're after right there. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about right there. We worked her, worked it over, kept getting bites back there, just kept being persistent, missed it the first two times, didn't miss it the third time. That is a beautiful fish. Ah, uh, we're gonna be eating some breakfast this morning. It was indeed. All right, in the strike zone again. Whoa, she came up out of the water like... Ah. Yes, oh, she's gonna, she's gonna jump. Oh, keep her down. That's what I'm talking about right there. Woo! Guys, not a piggy, but it's a nice smallie. It'd go, I'd, I'd keep her in a tournament. Boom! Check it. About a pound and a quarter, probably. It's just seems, these fish are just so aggressive. It just seems like once you locate them, even if you miss them on the first, even second try, they're just coming after it. We're gonna get this little girl back on the water, but that is just a beautiful, beautiful smallmouth. There she goes. There he is. Got him. Nice. Nice, Pops. It's a nice fish. Nice on that perch color. Annihilation. Nice, Pops. Nice little pound and a quarter or so. Oh, oh shit. Missed it. Just nice, easy strokes. <laughs> nice. Yes. Guys, you just gotta, you gotta lure them to the surface. 
We're just gonna see if we can swing her aboard here. Oh yeah. Oh, oh, <laughs> smack, back, yes! Yeah! Guys, this is another. Not as big as the last one, but just a pretty fish. Once you locate them, they come back for it. Look at that. Nice little pound, maybe pound it, probably about close to a pound and a half. Really, really nice size smallmouth right there. Love it. Just nice and settled. This calm water doesn't take much, got her, to get him to come to the top. That's yes. Amazing. There we go. She's gonna jump. Oh. Oh, nice, dude. Come to the you back. That That's fine. Uh. Yeah, look at that. That is another piggy. Yes, look at that, guys, right on that top water. That is what I'm talking about. Just have to have nice and subtle movements when the water is as, is just as calm as this is. You don't have to work that top water very hard. They'll come up and find it. That's what we're after right there. All right, so there's one side of that smaller bass. I let the two bigger ones go just because, I don't know, I don't like keeping terribly big fish. So I kept about the pound and a half smally, but there's one side of filet, bone free. Let's get them in our skillet and let's get cooking, I'm hungry. We're gonna be cooking those filets up in bacon grease. So first I gotta throw on bacon, which is great. Anytime you can incorporate bacon into your meal, you're winning. There we go. Okay, our, we got our bacon cooking over there. In this guy, we are going to get a little butter and start sauteing some onions and peppers. We got our butter melted down. I'm gonna add some fresh chopped onion and pepper right in there like so. Also add in a little garlic powder and a little salt and pepper that I mashed up in my mortar and pestle. Let all that cook together. So we took our bacon out. We've got a nice big pan of bacon grease. Now we're gonna add those fillets right in there. Let those cook in the bacon grease. Also add a little salt and pepper. Throw a sausage patty in there as well. Maybe a couple. Go ahead and lightly coat our fish with a little garlic powder as well. We'll go ahead and crack a couple eggs right into my sauteed onions and peppers. all that in. Scrambled egg action going on in there. See those eggs are cooking down in that onion and pepper. Almost done. All right, check that out. Those eggs are done. Go ahead and serve those up. Check that out, guys. We've got our cooked fish in that bacon grease. We've got a couple sausage patties. I'm not gonna lie, I already ate the uh, bacon that we cooked uh, to have the bacon grease. And uh, yeah, the old man helped as well. And we got some eggs in that, uh, those onions and peppers. Oh, guys, check that out. Oh, little morning breakfast. I got more sausage patties cooking right down here. Let's give this fish a try. Oh yeah, guys, that small mouth. It's like, it's like bacony small mouth. Oh. 
a little sausage. Oh man. Right out here on the reservoir. My old man's still fishing. And I'm just cooking up morning breakfast. Fresh right out of the reservoir. That's truly delicious. Smallmouth cook in bacon, you say? Yes. You need to get yourself some of that. Bass wow. for breakfast. What do you think? That is really good. And they have steak and eggs at Cracker Barrel, where I used to work. There's a fish and eggs. I should add that to the menu. Dude, that bass, mm. that smallmouth too, picks up the bacon flavor. Mm -hmm. A little salt and pepper, a little garlic mm -hmm. powder. And it's not, you know, I don't think fish in the morning, you know, for no. breakfast. But in bacon grease, bacon not, bacon makes the world better. It's like a breakfast fish. Yeah. That's really good. One more little bite. So All right, Bob. little bass. Yep. A little of that morning, morning breakfast bass. Oh. What do you think? I love it. Isn't that's that not bacon? too shabby. That That's actually a lot better than I thought it was going to be. I'd eat that in a restaurant. Wow. I'd eat it out on the water, too. <laughs> Fresh out of the reservoir, wow. man. Good, good stuff. Nice Sweet. job. Sweet. Sweet. Guys, big shout out to my mom. Um, she cooked for us all the time growing up. And she taught us the basics of just kind of what flavors go together, what to look for with uh, when you're cooking different meals. And uh, a lot of this inspiration comes from her just because I wouldn't think to cook fish for breakfast. But knowing certain tastes, knowing what goes good with what, I knew that, gosh, bacon grease, bass, you know, that's definitely a little, uh, little southern flair there. A lot of people think, whoa, way fatty in bacon grease. You know what? You aren't living if you aren't cooking it in bacon grease. Bacon makes everything better. That's just a fact. Guys, thanks so much for watching the video. If you haven't tried bass for breakfast, if you love yourself, you need to go do it. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the recipe. I'll see you in the next video.